We went to pick up something from the P.O. box, something that was a little bit of a surprise. <laughs> Let's try, oh. So, here's the box. This is how I shop. I shop really fast like this. Doesn't it look like glossy? There are gnats. The gnats are here. It's <laughs> Good morning and welcome to another vlog. I wanted to do a vlog style because this particular product will make a lot of sense over time. So I think this is the best way to illustrate it. I do have the new Hourglass Spray. It's the Veil Soft Focus Setting Spray. And I received this from Influencer Complimentary for trial purposes. So we'll be trying it out together. I also have some packages that are coming in and I have a couple things you might be interested in. I may have had a birthday recently and this is what 48 looks like if you're wondering. So I have these earrings that my sister gave me and you know, she's like the style queen. So they are by Dior. We'll put those on a little bit after I spray this on because I don't want to get them on the earrings. Just so you know what I started with though, I started off with the Hourglass. I tried to use as much Hourglass as possible. The Hourglass Illusion Hyaluronic Skin Tint in honey it's a little bit just a little bit deep for me right now i haven't gone outside so i'm much more fair than i usually am by this time of the year the blush is diffused heat a beautiful color if you were interested in any of the hourglass blushes i love this one i also finished off once i set of course i used charlotte tilbury and i used the chantecaille hummingbird powder but I did finish off with their finishing powders. Right in the center of the face, I used a dim light right in here. I also used radiant light around the exterior of my face. And one of my favorite bronzers, I used the Radiant Bronze Light Bronzer. I forgot how much this deposits its color. Look, you can kind of see pan. That's how much I've used this. Although I have had it for a long time. I love Hourglass um, powder products. They're really good. I discovered I don't have any eyeshadows by them. I do have this one, but it's one of their scattered light ones, but I didn't feel like putting anything sparkly on today, but that's that one. I just went in with my Chanel Balm, this one, in golden light. I just put that on my eyelids. I also used the Chanel eyeliners in uh, marine right along the lash line here, and then right above that, I went in with matte taupe right above. So I've got a little bit of marine here and then matte taupe in the waterline. And then of course, um, I used my mascaras as usual. And then I used their, um, arch brow pencil. So this one's tiny. I just wanted to try it. So I don't want to get a whole one. And it took me longer, but it really did fill in like as if it were little hairs. Now I'm a little sparse over here, so it didn't took a little bit more work, but if you want really feathery kinds of brows, like I'll put down the Wonder Brow just to set it and set the shape. It's just so much easier and faster. This took more time, but it's a little bit more subtle, I wanna say. But it built up, I mean, it just takes a little bit more time, but it's nice. We'll see how it wears throughout the day. And then I just went over it with my gel. And then also I finished off with this lip. It is their Unreal um, Lip Gloss in Strike. Very nice, like your lips a bit better, but on the warmer side, it's really pretty. So I kind of forgot about those things. I actually haven't used them in a long time. Um, and then we're gonna go in with this spray. So let's see what it says. Shake well and hold 10 inches from face, close eyes, press firmly, pump to release a generous mist over makeup. Allow formula to dry before opening eyes. Causes eye irritation, keep out of eyes, avoid inhaling during application. Okay, so I'll like exhale during application. Here's the bottle. And then I got a little card. It also mentioned using the primer. I've had it before, the Veil Mineral Primer. It's very nice, but I don't have it. And I'm surprised I don't have a little sample around, but I didn't use that. And then to use a Veil Translucent Setting Powder, which is good, but not my favorite, so I didn't use that. Um, so I just wanted to go in with the things that I love and then put this on top. So let's try this out. 10 inches from the face. What's this, 10, 10 inches? Was this 10 inches? 10 inches. <laughs> and close eyes and firmly pressed pump. I'm scared. Let's try. Ready? <laughs> One, two, three. Oh, wait, inhale. Ready? <laughs> oh, nothing, okay. <laughs> Let's try, oh, okay. I think we need to get it started first, okay. Did I shake it? Am I supposed to shake it? Oh, shake well. I didn't do that, I shake well. Okay, here we go. Okay, first of all, 
I thought it was gonna be an aerosol. It's not, it's not an aerosol. So that is surprising to me first. Okay, because it says press, firmly press pump to release a generous mist over makeup. Like one pump? How many pumps? It doesn't say. Let's, let's see how many it takes to be a generous amount. I don't know if that's too generous, but I was trying to feel like the dampness on my face for it to actually feel like it made it to my face. Maybe that was more than 10 inches, but okay, right now it looks a little bit shiny, right? So let's see, I have my Patrick Ta fan. Maybe I'll go get it. Let me go get it. Remember this, I never used it. Still haven't used it, I need to use it. So we'll do like a makeup I have never used video at some point. This is the fan though. It feels kind of hydrating. I think I'm afraid to touch it. Oh, somebody's doing something in the kitchen. I don't know how long that was. I was talking to my husband. It's been like a good five minutes, I think. So I just wanted to look at the claims. It says, sets makeup with a blurred effect. Does it look blurred to you? It looks shinier. Let me see. Let's go close. Hmm. Let me look in the mirror. I don't know what I'm looking for. I mean, it definitely looks like glossy, I want to say, right? It looks glossier. Maybe put on too much. Hmm. Increases makeup wear for up to 24 hours. I won't wear this for 24 hours, but I will wear it all day and let's see what happens. Enhances foundation wear with water resistant properties. I mean, it's definitely warm today. <laughs> so we'll see how it does in the weather. Natural radiant finish. I think that's what it is. It's more of like a dewier finish. I mean, it's very skin-like. If you like that, it's not going to mattify or anything, I don't think. I mean, it's not going in that direction at all and vegan and cruelty free, which is what our glasses. Yeah, it's that blurred effect. I'm not quite sure what I'm supposed to be. What is blurring? But let me know if you notice anything that got blurred. It was interesting when I got my makeup done by that makeup artist, he was surprised at my discoloration around this area right here when he removed my, my makeup. He said, you did a good job because you go with the shinier look. And I was like, is that bad? <laughs> but what I think he meant was because it's not so matte, you can't see as many imperfections. I think that's what he was saying. I mean, I think that's what he was saying, but it makes sense because then you just have light bouncing off. So instead of being able to see all the way through to see like these darker areas, you get the light reflecting. So I'm going to go with that for the blurry. I might not be right about that, but that's my thinking. Let's put these earrings on. I'm not going anywhere, but I don't need to go somewhere to put on earrings. So these are really cute. They are Dior, like I said, can we see? Okay, there, so there they are. They're this larger pearl, and then the smaller pearl, and then they have the CD here. And then I was a little confused putting on because it's got all these things hanging off of it. Smaller one goes in front, and the larger one goes in the back. And then you get this kind of effect like the dangling chain here and then you get two pearls in there i think you can only get them from their site i'm not sure i'll try and see below where you can get them but i saw them on their site and then of course in their shops not that we can go to the shops now but um at least on their site pretty huh i like them a lot she always did a good job with accessories well clothing in general and accessories style make sure we're all set let's see what it feels like has a little tack to it like i can feel it maybe i put too much did I? Well, that's okay. We're just gonna, <laughs> we're gonna go with this. Like, I feel like I would want to powder just a little bit, but we're gonna leave it that way. Just, just Here because. we are in the kitchen and the lighting is a little different, but I feel like it's still shiny. And I'm thinking I can see my pores a little bit more with this. So I really think tomorrow I need to try with not as much spray, maybe just like a quick misting of it. Maybe that's what it'll do, I mean, if you like this, I think if you don't have texture in the front here, you're gonna be pretty good. Um, I think it'll look really nice, but I, I think it's bringing out that texture a little bit on my face, but I thought I would show you what I'm having for lunch. In the spirit of maximizing resources, I made cornbread the other night, we didn't finish it, so um, then we thought we'd just put some beans on it. Apparently that's like a thing that they do in the Midwest, beans and cornbread. And it was actually my husband's idea. And then I just had some avocado left over. So we're gonna have that for lunch. So what we have here is just some leftover cornbread, some baked beans, and then a nice little bit of avocado. So that is my lunch. And then for dessert, we have these 
Goo Bars or Hue, I never know what they're called, but these are vegan chocolate bars. They're actually, I think, better than chocolate chocolate unless you like milk chocolate. But this one's Crunchy Mint Dark Chocolate, and then we have Vanilla Quinoa. And yeah, no, you can see what it doesn't have. No palm oil, refined sugar, cane sugar, sugar alcohols, no dairy, no gluten, no emulsifiers, no soy, soy, whatever that is. Anyway, there's none of that soy stuff. <laughs> and then for the sugar content, I think it's eight grams, something like that. I mean, it's still candy though, so you don't wanna eat the whole thing at one time, but that's dessert. I do like soy milk in my tea, and soy milk has been kind of hard to find. It's been hard to come by. I have a few cartons left though. So I like that with mint tea, or um, what's the other one I like? Chai tea, that's really good. But I wanted to check in with this and just see how it's looking. We're about five hours into wear right now, and I think it looks really good, really skin-like, and I'm just gonna keep an eye on it. I think it looks really good. It's not moving around in terms of the makeup. Doesn't feel dry, so I'm thinking for dry skin, you might like this. I am a little bit oily in the center here, so you're not seeing as much shine on the exterior, so that might be, that might have something to do with it too. Um, but we're gonna go ahead and get ready for dinner. So I made chicken the other night, and I sauteed it in olive oil, and then just put some diced tomatoes on top. There was some garlic in there, and then I made rice pilaf with kale and put that kind of at the bed underneath, and then some Parmesan on top, but it was really dry. <laughs> So I don't know if it's because the chicken was frozen initially and then I had to thaw it and then, and then make it. So what I did is I kind of shredded it up before I packed it away. So I'm going to put that in a little crock pot to simmer with some water and some chicken bouillon and hopefully just letting that simmer for a few hours will soften things up. Keep our fingers crossed. Now while we let that cook, I thought we could open this. This is from my parents for my birthday. They are very generous when it comes to gifts. So um, I always try to find something classic because I know it will remind me of them. And this is definitely a classic. So I'm gonna just turn this around so you can see what's in, I mean, I've kind of folded already. I've already taken it out, but um, I put it back in there. It's a nice experience opening one of these Louis Vuitton things. So let me just, I'll turn the camera around. Here's the box. Of course, the box is always lovely. Of course, it was more nicely wrapped than this. I kind of ripped it as I opened it. Here's what they got me. So it's a giant, I think it's called the giant shawl. And this is actually in the color black. I wanna say there's like a black and a um, like a beige or a tan color and then there's like a rose color, I think. But this I think is the most classic and it's just really beautiful. It's very large too. I'll put the dimensions down below if you're interested in it, but it's just really, of course, well made and beautiful. So it's got this pattern on it and then it's reversed so it's like deeper on this side and then it's got a lighter background but if you flip it over it's of course the opposite so a lighter background and then a darker field here and then this is actually the right side up because it's facing you the LV so it is just really beautiful um, the composition I think is there's some cashmere in here so it's really soft because I looked at some of the other scarves that they had and they were like silk but they just weren't either as big and they're kind of shiny which I didn't like so I like how this is kind of like a very luxurious blanket so I'll put it really close here so the weave there is a nice um, like a feel to it it's not slippery at all but it's a very nice casual fabric I almost want to say but it's also very loose at the same time so something really easy to wear something you can wear with, I'm gonna say it, denim. Um, but you can also dress it up in the evening just as a wrap. It's really big. As they say, it's giant. 
just wanted to show you this on and you know just casually thrown over your shoulder but this is one of those things that i'll have forever so yes very thankful for this but also more than that just thankful that everyone is healthy um but this is one of those pieces that i will keep forever those kinds of things definitely an heirloom piece oh yeah and also i was thinking did i mention this earlier i wanted to shop for some things to wear for my videos I realized I'm wearing the same clothes over and over, which I don't have a problem with, but I wonder if you get tired of looking at the same things. And the things that I'm wearing are a little bit, um, they're a little bit delicate, like silk or fine fabrics, and I'm afraid of spilling something on them because I'm also really clumsy. So I'm thinking I need to order some items from like um, places I don't normally shop um, because just to add some color into the videos and also so I don't have to be as careful when I film, when I drop makeup on everything like usual. So um, we're gonna shop as well, just kind of look around and see, but I really think I need to kind of mix it up a little bit just to make it a little bit more fun. My video is a little bit more fun, so we'll try. Okay, so we're on the Mango site just because sometimes they have some trendier pieces that are kind of cute and plus look, they have a 30% off flash sale. And let's see what we've got here. Um, so I like this, but I don't know, should I try other things besides white? Like that looks pretty and it looks like it has a lot of room to move. <laughs> what do we think of this? I don't know. That's not me at all, but I think that might look cute in a video. Let's see if there's even my size. Okay. It's a little bit delayed, but let's try add to shopping bag. So this is how I shop. I shop really fast like this. Okay. Now we're in Zara here interesting because they have some motion to their um like there's motion in their little thumbnail things interesting so this is why i don't shop online that much for clothes because i have a hard time finding things that i like i kind of have to see them in real life usually when i'm looking for something i don't find anything and when i'm not looking for something that's when i find things so i'll keep looking i'll look some more so you don't have to see me scroll everything and then i'll show you kind of what i ended up at least considering so I seem to have had the most luck at H&M which I'm surprised about but even though it's like fast fashion which I'm not a huge fan of these pieces are things I think I will wear so um, even though they're fast fashion I do plan on keeping things for a long time so there's this cotton puff cotton puff sleeved blouse and it's in this print so I'm really not like comfortable with prints but this one is kind of subtle so actually you're gonna see, see up close I don't love that, but from far away it looks good. And there's nothing like tight around the sleeves, so I like that. It's got the smocking on the top. So I'm gonna try that. What does it say for size, true to size? So I'm getting a medium in that one. My shoulders are kind of broad, so I'm not sure about this puff sleeve stuff, but we're gonna try, because they don't look that extreme. You know I like this color. It's this pink color. I don't know about this right here though. You see that? It's like it should have gone down farther or it looks kind of smooshed at the top here. I just am concerned about this right here. Sometimes if that is too tight, then I won't like it. Like it looks kind of tight, doesn't it? But we can try it. So I'll order that. Oh, this I really liked and I don't need another white dress, but it looks really comfortable and they don't have a medium, but they have a large. So I figured it's big, so I guess it could be loose. And if it's too big, I can take it in right here. There's one more top here and it's a print. It's linen though, so I'm good with that. Okay, so the other ones I think were cotton um, and this one is linen. I, I have to check, but this one says 100% linen and that print is really pretty, isn't it? That blue print, it reminds me of like fine china. I thought I would try that. So I'll let you know when they come in, you'll see them in videos. And the chicken actually looks like it got kind of tender, so I think it all worked out. I've already taken my makeup off, but I just wanted to show you, my husband made homemade hummus. He even made the garbanzo beans and everything. So he did a good job. Look at that. So good morning from another day. It's not morning. Did I say morning? It's afternoon. So this morning we went to pick up something from the PO box, something that was a little bit of a surprise. So we're gonna look at that in a moment, but I just wanted to try the spray again today. This time I did set with the powder, so what did I do with it? Here it is. 
I did set with the Hourglass powder because I thought maybe the powder I used, the Clay de Peau, no, not Clay de Peau, the Chantecaille is a little bit of like a different consistency to it than a, like a traditional powder. So I thought let's go in with this first and then we'll try spraying it and see if that makes a difference because it did have like a glossy finish, which is an interesting way to think about um, the complexion. But I think that's what it was all day long. It didn't move or anything like that, but it did have a, like a shine. Now it looks shiny already, doesn't it? But I assure you, <laughs> I have powdered nicely with this, not too much powder, but did powder with it. So, um, and just recently, like within the last 10 minutes, I refreshed the powder. So let's go in with this. I won't spray as much today because yesterday was a lot. <laughs> So that's enough. It's just, it's the lightest, slightest mist. Even though it might not look like it, it is just like, that was very slight. So now that I've done that, I want to put my earrings on. So I'm going to go back to my Dior earrings that my sister gave me because I like them. Oh, also while I put these on, what I'm waiting for is my Wayne Goss order. So I've been tracking it. It was shipped a couple days ago. I see that it's within like 60 miles of me now, but it doesn't say out for delivery. It says it's still going to be delivered today though. I hope it is delivered today. Actually, I did my makeup today just for that video. I wanted to do something neutral because I don't want it to compete with the lip colors. So I try, I use the um, Victoria Beckham Signature palette this morning on my eyes. And then I also have, oh, I have on my lips Duchess. So um, House of Siage Duchess. I wanted to show you all the colors at some point. It's got like a more berry tone to it on me because I have such a warm, although my complexion is not that warm, it's more like warm neutral. Um, so that's what Duchess looks like on. And the light is all over the place today. We've got clouds going in and out, so it's turning blue. <laughs> okay, well, <laughs> we're gonna go with this. Um, I also did use the Hourglass Concealer in Apricot yesterday and today. I forgot to mention that. I don't know, I was going back editing the videos and I forgot to mention it. Okay, now I think I'm just gonna wait for the sun to come back before we open this. And we'll just watch this throughout the day, but doesn't it look like glossy? I don't know. So this is exciting though, because I was not expecting this. I just got a notification on my email that my order had arrived and I'm like, what? Or I didn't order anything. Um, but this lovely, lovely gift came from House of Siage. So I didn't know it was coming. So thank you again, House of Siage for sending this. I'm so enjoying exploring their lines because I'm not a huge fragrance person like Angela Van Rose. She is a huge like fragrance lover. So if you love fragrance, make sure you watch her because her descriptions of fragrance are unlike any other descriptions I've heard before. And she paints a picture about what that fragrance is all about. It's really interesting to listen to her, so I learn a lot from her too. But I have been enjoying using the one that they sent me and also the lipsticks, so thank you again. So I got this note from them. I'll read it to you. I haven't opened yet. Grace says, Dear Grace, I'm so excited to share with you our newest pre-summer mystery vaults collection, Love and Innocence, the perfect escape into a warm Parisian day. Our mystery vaults are 50% savings, on some of our most iconic products, Alex and the House of Siage team. So I don't know if you had a chance to watch, they did an Instagram live with Angela, so it was so fun to tune in and, and see everyone. So we're just gonna open the box. So it has a beautiful ribbon on it. I am very excited about this. This is such a fancy like Luke's brand. If you're looking for like a niche Luke's brand, this is there. Got this, oh they have all of the swatches of the lipsticks. So I have four of them. So I've worn King in a video. This is Duchess. I mixed Night in with Duchess also in a video. Lovely, lovely lipsticks. I'm really enjoying wearing them. Really easy to wear. So then we've got this all wrapped up nicely here, of course. Some items here, let's take them out. So first thing is this. This is a, I'm assuming a perfume box. Oh, look at how sweet that is. I love that look. It goes with my decor with the gold and the white, like they knew. <laughs> wow, that one's really cute. Look at that with the flowers on the top. It's so it's white with gold and then it's got the crystals again. So just stunning packaging. 
Whispers of Innocence is this one. So Whispers of Innocence symbolizes exciting and extraordinary beginnings with a violet leaf and Egyptian jasmine absolute. Uh, blended with warm and welcoming notes of Madagascan vanilla bean, planting seeds of virtue, this fragrance says goodbye to the past and welcomes the new. Oh, that's kind of very like appropriate for this time, isn't it? Speaking of a new normal, right? See, I already have a little bit of their other perfume on that they sent me. Um, so let's, I just wanna see this. And of course, this again, just so beautiful. The craftsmanship behind just the packaging alone is just so beautiful. So let's see, let me see if I can. Oh, that one's really nice. Much more floral, but in a floral way that I like. It's very fresh. Really feel like that is a someone getting into fragrance kind of fragrance. Another lipstick case. So the other one I have is that beautiful light blue color. Let's see what we have here. Again, you've got the wrapping here in the in the fabric. <laughs> I love how precious things are here that they package them so beautifully. Oh wow! How pretty is this one? This is a I don't know what the color is. Does it say? Yeah, it doesn't have it specifically on there. But that is pretty. A very nice and like cheery color. And then we have a lipstick here. This is Countess. This is beautiful. It's a nice warm shade. Thank you again so much, House of Siage. They're always so generous with what they gift and I really, I really appreciate it. So I'll be toasting this uh, Dave's Killer Bread. It's got 70 calories, 21 whole grains and seeds. And it's funny because this Smeg Toaster, I don't know if you've ever seen one before, but it's really powerful. So sometimes the toast will pop out and end up on the countertop. That's how powerful this toaster is. Um, it's really kind of like extra for a toaster, but it's it's a nice toaster. But if you keep it on your counter like we do, it's just a nice like art piece as well. So we're thinking of getting the coffee maker. Yeah, so let me know if you have the Smeg coffee maker because I'm curious to see how well that works. I mean, again, it's very aesthetically pleasing as well, but just curious about its performance. I actually didn't toss the toast everywhere this time. So I'm gonna just take some of that hummus and then a little bit of avocado we have left over here. I think I'll take this outside to eat. And I forgot we have some leftover salad from our local pizza place that we got the other day. So we'll have that as well. It's about, um, what is it, like over 100 degrees right now? Over 100 degrees, so I've eaten lunch outside. This, by the way, is, um, those are loud people next door. Um, this is a mosquito net, so I go under here in the evening when the bugs are out, so that, they're not big bugs, but they're a nuisance. They're more like gnats, I think, so I go under here <laughs> if I'm outside in the evening. Um, anyway, just had lunch and then just wanted to check in with this. It feels very like damp on my face right now. So I don't know if it's because I'm perspiring or if it's because of the um, setting spray. This will really test to see how well it does in the heat though, if you're curious about um, heat. I mean, there are some setting sprays I really like for the heat. I don't know if this will be one of them, but it'll be a nice little, Let's just see what happens. Okay, so as you can see, I'm just editing here and you know, when I edit, I fall asleep. So I've had a little nap, <laughs> um, but I also checked on the status of my Wayne Goss Beautylish order. And as I said, it was like 60 miles closer to me, or it was about 60 miles away. And I just checked on it and now it's like 90 miles away. I don't know <laughs> what's happening to it, but I'm not very hopeful that it will arrive today. Um, so I'm not, Quite sure what I'm going to do for my video that's going up on Monday but I'll have to think of something um, yeah I don't know what it's going to be so it'll be a surprise to all of us I suppose I'll have to be creative um, but I did change my shirt if you didn't notice I didn't want to get my sweater dirty and plus it's hot outside so I'm changing to a t-shirt for now and I'm still ready to go for if it does show up today though but if that doesn't happen, that's okay. We'll be flexible. 
but I do want to point out the makeup still looks really nice. So I think it's doing a nice job of just, you know what I think it does? I think it melds that powder together so you get more like a skin-like finish than a powdery finish. So I'm noticing that it kind of like binds everything together. And then I just wanted to point out this lip color because I didn't um, reapply it after I ate. So after I ate lunch, this is what it looks like. So that that's what actually surprised me when I wore it the first time because I did the same thing. I had put it on and then I had a meal and then it just, it looked really nice. So it has a really nice wear time on it, but I did want to point that out. And we're just going to continue waiting for my package. <laughs> this might be the last update because I just checked the order again and the status has changed. It now says scheduled delivery pending. No scheduled delivery date available at this time. <laughs> so, okay, it's definitely not coming today. So we're gonna give up on waiting for it today. I'm gonna go swimming, so I'll try not to get my face wet, and then we'll do one last check-in before I take my makeup off, and then I'll make some kind of video for Monday. I don't know what. <laughs> my giant hat this is the final check-in we'll make this a final check-in at least and I was asking my husband he's right here could you tell me what the word is that you would describe this finish as okay, so he says it shiny and I called it glossy does glossy sound like the right word as well <laughs> high gloss finish okay so at least on my skin type it's high gloss finish um, so it depends on what you want though I do like that it looks like skin I think if I just had skin without makeup it would look like this um, it held the makeup together pretty well. Usually if I wear sunglasses, it'll rub here. It'll rub that away. Like when I'm touching it, it doesn't feel shiny. It feels like, I mean, it feels like skin. Right here, it's a little bit drier here. It's just, I'm more oily anyway, so it's a little bit more hydrated. So it depends on whatever you're going for look-wise. Do you like it? No, do you like that finish or is it okay so my husband likes matte I don't prefer matte so I would actually like something kind of in between um, I don't know if I'll be pulling for this but it's because of my skin type if you have dry skin I'm wondering if this is going to be better for you if you look for hydration because it hasn't felt dry at any point during the day and sometimes with setting sprays it'll kind of like dry up over time so there are gnats the gnats are here it's <laughs> So I hope that helped you if you're interested in this Hourglass product. I keep looking in here because I'm trying to see if I'm in the frame. It's hard to tell in the sun. Oh, these gnats are killing me. Um, like I said, I think it's up to your skin type what this spray will do for you. But it did hold the makeup together, so I really like that. I wouldn't rely on it like as a, um, like, what is that one? The Urban Decay one. That one does a really nice job keeping makeup together in the heat. But I wouldn't count on this one to do that. So it may depend on your climate and also your skin type. But for me, I won't be pulling for this all the time. It's not like something I need, but I was really happy to give it a try. I think it does a really nice job, again, of holding that makeup together. It's just the finish is a little bit too um, high gloss for me, but it does look very skin-like. Of course, my mind might change the more I use it. I want to use it up and just see how it goes. So I hope that gave you at least some information. And please take care of each other. Stay safe. And if you enjoyed the video, if you learned something, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe, and I will see you next time. Thanks.